Here I am at the Sheridan Vancouver Wall Center for the EV 2010 conference and trade show about electric vehicles. Outside the event, there were some old school vehicles dating back as far as 1912. This old Detroit electric vehicle, for instance. Although, I looked inside and I can't figure out how you would actually drive this thing. I can't see a steering wheel anywhere inside it. Must be those levers there on the back, although I'm not sure how they work. Also had the Chevy Volt, although it's uh, newer than most cars. It's not necessarily the new, new like the new things that are coming out now. But good to see it lurking outside. Here's a RAV4 EV. I don't know if it's a conversion or if it's factory done. Had some electric trucks. I like the no stink, no pollution on this one. This E Star from Navistar. Inside, here's some of the exhibitors that were there. One of the main reasons I came to the event was to check out the offerings from Project Eve. Project Eve is basically a collaboration of a bunch of Canadian companies trying to make electric vehicles that'll do highway speeds. This particular one is called the A2B. It's the little two-seater ver version that they've come up with so far. Cute little thing. Power is injected from the back, as you can see here. This wasn't the reason I really came to the show. There was another car of particular interest that I came for called the Kestrel. This is a picture of the Kestrel. They didn't actually bring it to the show as I was led to believe in the first place, but what was particular about this car was its use of hemp fiber composites. This door here is actually a Kestrel door. They didn't bring the whole car, but brought a door uh, made by these companies. Here's a timeline of where Project Eve wants to go. One of the other companies as part of the Castrol is the TM4 Electrodynamics. There, no, uh, we're working with their uh, European Technical Center that's in the UK and uh, in England. So, uh, so they're making them there. And eventually we're going to have a partner in Canada that's going to make the gearbox for going to use the technology they have to, uh, to uh, make it here in Canada. I dropped in spec sheets on most of these so you can see. You'd have to pause to catch it though. Now this guy here, the Mighty Truck. Not really a roadworthy kind of guy, but great for farms, factories, whatever that would need a light utility truck that's got some power, but doesn't really need to go very far very fast. Great utility vehicle. Here's the Mighty Truck's Mighty Engine. It's also available in some other configurations. Here's some more specs. Of course, you can't have an electric car show anymore without a Prius plug-in hybrid somewhere at the scene. Mitsubishi brought in this. I'm not even sure how you name it. I'm Yev, I'm my EV. I'm not really sure, but 
kind of an ugly car. I think they brought two of them just to show you that, you know, something worth looking at, take up more floor space, not really quite sure. Next up is the Nissan LEAF. What's interesting about this vehicle is it will probably be the one that actually hits the streets as a full-on electric vehicle for highway speeds in Canada. It's not Canadian made, but it's a nice little car overall for what it is. Like most of the cars you'd see on the streets today, except it's 100% electric. This one charges up front. Personally, I'd have to give best of show to Future Vehicle Technologies. A company here from BC and Maple Ridge. This vehicle is an electric vehicle with a gas generator on board. As much of a hot rod as this thing looks like, you could probably drive from here in BC all the way to Halifax for probably about $60. It's an inline two-seater, so the passenger sits behind the driver as opposed to alongside. I don't know what I'd say if I was following this thing on the highway. I'd probably say, what the hell is that? I believe this is the batteries that they're using in it. I'm not quite sure to tell you the truth. Here's another pass while everything's open on the vehicle so we can see under the hood. Some more specs, of course. Some other offerings here were Bionics bikes and zero motorcycles. Plus, you want to tell us more, see what's going on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> more specs on the zero. This company, I didn't see actually bring anything to the show other than this poster, but might be a couple of links here that might be of use to some of you. The rest of the outside ring of exhibitors was mostly charging station options, lots of different companies, lots of different styles, all basically looking for the same charge station kind of idea. So if you want to start the recharge, yeah. you just close the door. That's it. Albeit minor, there was battery technologies and fuel sec and cell technologies shown here. That's everything for now. Thanks for watching.